We love the team spirit. A big thank you to the Rio Rancho cheerleaders. Welcome into week five of the rundown. I'm Ron Burke. The cheerleaders and the student section, if you saw that. <laughs> I'm Bethany Miller. We've reached the halfway mark of the high school football season. Teams all over our state vying to put themselves into playoff position as district play heats up. And that is no different tonight. Undefeated matchups, history made in a battle of rainy state champions, and so much more. Ron, let's start first here in the city. Out at Wilson Stadium, one loss, Los Lunas, with a showdown against one win, La Cueva. When's the last time you heard that? The Bears picking up their first win last week against Volcano Vista. The lightning delay doesn't face Cam Dyer and the Bears going to work on La Cueva's first offensive drive. The quarterback in the end zone on an eight yard touchdown run. Seven nothing La Cueva. Well, Swinnis' offense would go three and out, so it's another chance for the Bears to go downfield. That's exactly what Cam Dyer does. Watch this throw. On the other end, that's pretty. It's Jackson Hicks. Nice spiral. 31 yard catch brought down at the one. Cheeto Lombrera, he's doing the rest. He's in for pay dirt on the next play for a 14 0 La Cueva lead. Now, that is the score to start the second quarter. So, Tiger's trying to get something going, but Damasio Kane Shearer throws and he's intercepted by McKay Burton Jalron. He picks up a good game here before he's finally brought down there at the six. We're right on it. And guess who? Well, Dyer's just going to do the rest. Why not? The quarterback, his second touchdown of the night, La Cueva. They run away with this game here tonight. The final, 45-6. Smooth to Cleveland High School. Rio Rancho Rams hosting Hobbs at their rival stadium because of a power outage for the Rams. J.J. Ariano faking the pass as we get to the action. Drop a beautiful dime to uh, Jace Pitt for his first touchdown this season. That gives Rio Rancho its first points of the game coming in the first quarter. The Eagles, would they respond? Well, Owen Calloway looks down the middle, finds Jeremiah Jaquez, and number two making the most after the catch. It's all about the Yaks. Yards after catch, and he continues until he is taken down at the 20-yard line. Nice effort there. Ooh. And capitalizing on opportunity, Calloway and the Rams in striking distance. Patience is a virtue. And he finally gets it off to Jaquez, who would once again make the most of his targets. Wow. That would tie the game in the second quarter at seven. With a little over 10 minutes to go in the first half, the Eagles get by the Rams by a fine love, 24 to 21. Well, let's make our way to Community Stadium now, Ron. It's a battle of the one loss teams. Atrisco Heritage coming in, averaging 48 and a half points in their last four games. West Mesa, they're averaging 36 here tonight. Well, the Mustangs have the ball to start. Elijah Brody dials it up, a long distance hookup with Marcus Ochoa, a diving catch, and the Mustangs are moving downfield. And West Mesa would cap off the drive with a quarterback bootleg by Elijah Brody. Mustangs, they would miss the PAT, so they go up 6-0. On the next possession, the offensive possession, the Mustangs striking again, another big play. It's that same combo, Brody to Ochoa. This time, he's going to take it into the end zone, Ron. Mustangs are up 12-zip. The Jaguars are not going to lay down here tonight. Quarterback Latavius Morris finds Marquise Renfro, and you know that name. Renfro makes a couple men miss, and that is a touchdown for the Jaguars. They are back in this, but this game is still going on. Last time we checked, the Mustangs are currently up big on the Jaguars, 40-20 to in the third. Well, now let's travel all the way to the Bulldog Bowl for a battle of reigning state champions. Cleveland, the 6A champ, visiting Artesia, the undefeated 5A champ. So here's a look at how the two teams compare. The Storm have just one loss on the season. As for Artesia, the dogs are just racking up the points, averaging over 50 points a game so far this season, while allowing under 10 points by their opponents. But Cleveland's offense, they've got 286 yards per game. So Ron, Take me to the action. Really good game, Bethany, as the fans flock to the stadium in Artesia for a battle of Titans in the state. Storm down 8 0 in the first quarter. Then Marcus LaQuesta jumps a route, picks it off. He picked off Nia Strada, took it 60 big ones for the pick six. Storm on the board down 8 7. We go middle second quarter. Cleveland down 15 second by the seven, but they'll hand to Harris Mbuea up the middle. He had a nice night. 15 14, Storm within a point. Artesia then. Has a first and 15 at the Cleveland 19. Kind of odd numbers, right? <laughs> Frankie Galindo pressured, rolls near the sideline, fires end zone. That's Ethan Kahn ready to just cradle it for the touchdown. Bulldogs go up 22 to 14. Later, Bulldogs on the doorstep. Diego Wesson up the middle. Artesia now 29 21 wow. over Cleveland. And for good measure, a little later on, get a little trickery here. Nia Strada fakes to Galindo. Rolls left, throws back to Galindo, who is wide. Open, Whoa. makes one move. That's all it takes, and he's gone. Wow. For the touchdown, the Bulldogs take down the storm 36 34. Ron, I have a feeling I picked a little old Artesia you, to you win that game. You picked Artesia over Cleveland. Woo! 
You are a prophet. One good game to another. Let's pay a visit to Bernalillo now. Battle of the undefeated is the Pintos and Spartans squared off tonight. We begin in the second half. Pintos up 7-6. Spartans, Uriel Castro passing with ease. That's Mason McChristian for the touchdown in traffic. That scores his first touchdown of the season. That's not all. Give the man the hot hand. Bernalillo go for two. They convert. It's McChristian again. And Spartans, they come from behind to win this game here tonight, the final 14-7. Next stop is the Wool Bowl. The Goddard Rockets hosting winless Pedro Vista. Panthers off a pump fake. Felipe Begay drops a pass right into Dylan McCoy's Ooh. hands. That's a pretty connection. Beautiful. 15 seconds before the half, we get our first score of this game. PB up 7-0 at the break. Opening possession, third quarter. Similar play off the pump fake. Begay to Mason Courtney, who catches the ball behind the defensive player's back and takes it in. PB up 13-0. But on the Rockets, in swing possession, they get something going. They hand it John Silva. He's a workhorse up the middle, through the defense, to the end zone. And got it on the board down 13-7, middle of the third quarter. Panthers able to get enough offense in this game to make a difference. Nice balanced night by Pietro Vista. They then win this one 21 to 7 over Goddard. Well, back here in Albuquerque we go now to Milne Stadium. Del Norte and Highland, Ron. They're both looking for their first dub of the season. Nice uniforms. But they got a nice student section, too. Well, let's start with the Knights here tonight. The quarterback hands it off to Angelo Molina. Bounces to the outside, sheds one tackle, then he sheds another. He is in the end zone. Knights up seven as they fall on it there. <laughs> well, next up, the Hortons are Hornets, excuse me, now driving. They direct snap it to Alex Lopez, who absolutely explodes out of this gate. No one. Spoiler alert is going to catch him. Touchdown Hornets. Highlands two point conversion would fail. This game also still going on. Last time we checked, the Hornets were up 34 26 entering the third quarter. Moving to Las Cruces. Field of Dreams this place. Trojans coming off a shutout loss last week to Centennial, hosting the Bulldogs. Everybody ready to rock and roll? Field of Dreams celebrating its 16th anniversary with a gift exchange between the two sides. That's a nice touch. Oh, nice. And as for the action on the field, Mayfield quarterback Luke Lennon delivering a pass to tie the game at seven apiece. Nice hook up there. Las Cruces responded with a touchdown score of its own. They take the lead back at 14-7. And then watch this. The Bulldogs, how about some special, special teams play? I love me some Is that special allowed? teams. Can, can we show you that? Let's Bulldogs show. punt returner, <laughs> Daniel Amaro. Okay, he got a punt return. It opened the scoring <laughs> match. The Bulldogs defeat the Trojans 37-7. Take my word for it, please. Gosh, so much tension on that one, Ron. Mm -hmm. Next on the rundown.